So, yeah, so this is, this is, you know, biochemical individuality. I mean, it, everybody's got their own pattern. There are, there are core sets of the program that we use for the addicts that almost everybody goes on, but, but it is individual and the nutrients work together. So sometimes if you're treating just one part, but not some other key thing, they're still going to struggle. Um, you know, there are some things that don't quite match. Um, you know, sometimes you do histamine or pyrroles testing and it's not quite abnormal, but they fit the pattern and stuff. So we would then try those to treat the person and try and repair the brain. And repairing the brain is, is a lot associated with the dopamine part of the brain, so. So most addicts have poor digestion and, and diets. They come in, they're depleted of everything. Uh, it makes it kind of tough when you do organic acids and amino acids. Some people are just depleted of everything. And it's hard to tell, is this genetic? Is this just poor nutrition? If, if somebody hasn't been eating well and has low amino acids, even using something like whey protein. Whey protein has a lot of branch chain amino acids which have a big impact on mood and addictions. Uh, as long as they don't have a dairy issue, I would do that. It's a lot cheaper and it tastes better than using fancier amino acid blends. Hypoglycemia, that's huge. I mean, you know, go to any AA meeting and what are they doing? They're drinking coffee with cream and sugar and they're eating donuts or cookies. They are setting all of those addicts up to crash and relapse uh, a couple of hours after the meeting. Um, blood sugar is a big factor, big, big factor. So, so when we look at, at inner balance, when alcohol is involved, it's like 97, 98% of the time on a, on a glucose tolerance test, they have significant hypoglycemia. So low histamine, lots of anxiety, paranoia, thought disorders. They don't tolerate much in the way of medications. Trying to give them a bunch of supplements, they often don't tolerate those. So you, you focus on trying to increase histamine. You have to be careful about overmethylating. You still can use some B12 and a little bit of methylfolate, but you don't want to give them a big dose or a big multi and acetylcysteine is good support for these people. Helps balance their brains and their, their responses. Even if they have that, I would not start with 15 milligrams right away because of all those other things that, that the methylfolate does um, for all these things in the body if you go crank somebody on 15 milligrams, you can trigger a whole bunch of stuff and people don't feel good. You can trigger a detox reaction and stuff. So even if you're a double one, two, nine, eight, you're gonna wanna start on the, you know, couple of milligrams or no more than five and then work your way up.